in English and then if you know the song you can help them. But those instruments are here for practice and also for for some for for practice. Others they use those instruments for recording. So this side is for practice, but there is recording studio on the other side. And we have sound technician on this on this side. So we have piano. Then we have pianos, microphones, and we have some guitars, acoustic, bass, cube, and and those two. So Song. We give you the glory. We worship you, Lord. You are worthy to be praised. We give you. We give you, we give you all the glory. We worship you alone. You are worthy to be praised. We, we give you all. We give you all the glory. We worship you alone. project recording project that is in process on the other side i think we can have a look also on the recording studio okay. so this building was given to the youth by the church is that yes. correct yeah it this was, was kind of the, by the church the contribution yeah. of the church and the instruments and the sound system were purchased with money from the Presbyterian Most of them, but right now we are adding some additional. <laughs> some additional. But the base is from this PW. And, and also, and the, doing the inside. Even the, the inside, even the roofing before was the asbestos. So we were obliged to change. So everything, roofing, sound system, sound keeper, it's from the, the, the funds from PCUSA. And, yeah. the, and the groups from the church can use the facilities? The groups so group house. for the church, they use facilities, produce music. They like those groups, they are producing songs freely. But for other from other church, we facilitate them, but they give some money for maintenance and for also paying some. So, so it's actually generating an income stream for the youth department. I think during the, after the project started, I think more than 50 choirs have passed here. They have and audio they music. And yeah. they record. And when you go to www.bestfear.com, you will see the songs. And they make their CDs, or they make yes. their CDs, and then they can sell those yeah. also to raise money. So for CDs, it's for the choirs to raise money. So as studio, we have to protect the intellectual property. We don't sell CDs or something else. We give the property to the owner, and then they start the 
doing their business. But the, some of the choir, okay. like yeah. Injil Bora, yeah. choir from Bikono, they have DVDs that they can sell. And, and you, I think, told me at one point that some of the radio stations, some of the music programs have picked up works that have been recorded here and then became popular. Yeah, some of, even the first one last year in Rwanda, they do music competition. So the first song was recorded in this studio. So we are the winner. So it's a choir which is not from EPR. It's another choir, the, I don't know, the church. It's from which church? So it's from a church called the Glory to God. But in Jiribora also from EPR Gikondo, her got a, was awarded as best for pop performer group, gospel group in what we call it Groove was Award. In, not Groove Award, Sifa Award. Award and Sifa Award and do you have any idea how and we have a radio program, weekly radio program that music produced here and message for peace and things like that are passing every week and how many groups would you say in an average week use the facilities do you I think those who used to be here can explain us how many groups that use this facility. I think only around 20 groups. Per week? Per week, yes. Because the one come in the morning, other at, at afternoon, other at evening. So it's a two hour service. Yes. They use two hours, they go. Because we have many groups. To manage them, we have to remit time. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. So the recording is beautiful music. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank あの、ノコペ、カメラ、ノコ。かな。これ ndumuzibashiramabyiringiro Okay, as I said before, this choir, this youth choir have a project. So as we said, we have some instrument, but up to now we don't have live instrument. We don't have the full instrument that can record all music at the same time. That's why we record one by one, instrument, voice, guitar, lawn, piano, differently. And then it's up to the producer to mix. Yesu, 
mumoi maza ibe akose ikaruvali bira hambaye na uswaniki mumoi maza ibe akose ikaruvali bira hambaye na uswaniki mumoi maza ibe akose ikaruvali bira hambaye Okay, the project that are done here with audio for video, it's for other video production, which is not here, it's on the other side. I think the visit for today, due to time problem, I think can close our visit here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You move the hundreds in the normal over. When you were able to be in the movie, credit Ebara tu fashije kujira ngo hawane kipsu wa mari kona na nane tu ningonga kuba reba Hari kuba taribze gusa mkaba gulisha ni bzo mproti za hizo sede mga vuze Mga tizibi mungu mga rikuwa mga mga shizano hanze Mga ba soko onjeja kwa rindu mbonyishi mutatukwele Sizo, ushaka kuzu mfarero aradira kute Niko mnoze Mbaka Okay, so uh, when I come, 
to visit Rwanda, I try to uh, learn from the country that I'm visiting and the church that I'm visiting, but also share with them. So at some point, I let um, the youth coordinator of the Presbyterian Church of Rwanda know about the opportunities to apply to Presbyterian women for um, funds to help women and children. And um, the youth coordinator developed a project which he called Best Future from Today, which was oriented toward helping youth between the ages of 18 and 26 get some kind of training to help them address some of the challenges that they have uh, psychologically, but also uh, economically. Um, unemployment is a big problem amongst youth. Um, many people here are subsistence farmers. Um, the youth are not necessarily interested in becoming subsistence farmers. Um, the government is an employer. Uh, businesses are starting, but um, there are so few jobs available for youth that there might be as many as 5,000 applicants for one position. So the, the thinking was that a really good solution for the youth was to uh, get training so that they could um, start their own small businesses. So um, that was uh, one of the important uh, focuses of the project. And from all appearances, the program has been very successful. It seems to me that the program has been become very sustainable, that it has spun off in many directions. A lot of uh, youth received the original um, training. Uh, the, there were funds that allowed them to start um, this music studio that we've been looking at today. Um, the, the youth um, began many small projects, so uh, recording music and selling CDs was uh, one of their programs, and, and that was also used as a platform for spreading the messages that the youth department wanted the youth to receive. Um, the youth have, as a result, um, used social media, I think, very effectively to uh, share with each other what the different projects are that they've started, how they can support each other, what they're doing, so um, so they buy into the uh, small businesses that the others have started. I think um, it's probably, and it, if if we're looking at the issue of sustainability and if a project can continue after initial funding, this one is really a great example of uh, how a project can continue and expand. I think the youth have done a wonderful job. Fantastic. Boom. Okay. okay. So, tell me about this program. Seems to have been a huge success. Tell me about uh, how successful it is and how it works. How, how do people find out about it and why do they use it? Yeah, the project, for me, I say it's successful because I remember when we met for the first time with Nancy, we were in a difficult situation, even without the election. Because I, I remember we were sitting with me as youth coordinator in EPR, I was also with Marcele, the one who is here. He was representing Students Association, and also with another called Gaspar, who was representing youth in EPR, youth committee. But the two of them were jobless, also they were not employed. So I say, how can we handle the problem of peacemaking, of reconciliation? These require means and facilities, and even those who ha can do it, they are also jobless. They are also in difficult situation. So we sit together, we try to discuss about all possibilities just to facilitate us or to help us or to initiate something great that will help us to arrive to our dreams. So finally, as we discussed with Nancy, no Marie said it, it will be difficult because of two projects. There was a project for women. And he said, the extra one will be difficult, but I see your idea and your, how you are motivated, and I expect the impact will be great. He said, I will go and PCSA and say, just give the project and hope you will be funded. 
And after a few months, we received the news that the project, the both project for women and youth were accepted. So we sat together with my colleagues and church. We started thinking and discussing about the project. As I told you, among the group that are being supported, we have graduate association. So we have a group of graduates from all universities in Rwanda with different background. We have those are special in medicine, those as me, I'm an IT technician, and Marissa is for statistics, Jasper was for other domains, so we have different domains. So sit together and say, how can start this project in a way that can be sustained? So that's why even the grantee delayed a bit, but we couldn't be, we couldn't give up, because we knew that we have I'm surrounded by experts. What is missing is the funds. And the funds you can wait until you find, but we don't have to sit and say we don't, don't continue. So after the funds came, we started discussing about the Presbyterian, the, the church leadership, because the house where she met us was in a place where we were used to pay 600000 every month. So we said in a project to be sustained, we don't need to have some income and expense at the same time. So we said, first of all, before starting the project, we have to minimize all expenses. That's why we said this house was, was not, was not, has not been using for a long time. It was like destroyed. So with the funds, even though it was programmed in the funds, we went to where we have, we were supposed to buy musical instruments we tried to discuss in a way they can reduce the cost. They tried to reduce some money that were supposed to be out of the budget, uh, no, to over the budget. Mm -hmm. We said we have to change the roof. Because in Rwanda, it's government politics that all house don't have to be covered by asbestos. I don't know how you mean. Okay. Yeah, asbestos. So with the funds, also we changed this roof. I think in the first interim report we give the house without roof. It's, it seems like we started from nothing. So after the building, we brought young people also to contribute, to use their force. We said in the budget we don't have money for maintaining, doing something like that. So one of the brass band, there was one who was called the Hatejeka. He said, I'm expert in house or making this soundproof. So we only rebought the materials and that one from one of the group that is now benefiting started doing freely. Tell me about how these young people, tell me how many people use it and um, what they do when they use it. So the use of this building and instrument, as I told you, we have Gap, we have on, three I'll, services. I'll show it, yeah. We have three su main services. We have the audio recording that is started while recording the message of a training material, but also in case of sustainability of the project, the recording continue with recording music for Presbyterian choirs, even for other choirs. But for others, they give some money for maintenance, and some are we are using them even to create some new projects. After an audio recording, we have practice room with different instruments that are given with PCUSA also. So the practice were initially to have practice before going to produce the record. But after the recording, we saw even the instrument can produce money, can generate money. So even the practice room our choir, our youth choir, I use it for practice, but also choirs from other institutions. By that time, the government decided to stop all things that give high sound or disturb people in, in different places. So those who don't have soundproof in their church and parish, they all come here. So it generates income also. For two hour practice, they give 10,000. So for one day, you can have 50,000 one and francs for one day, but in her season. And also the other one is for music school, the other side after there. Initially it was office. But we said 
office, you can sit anywhere and do project anywhere. So as we have an instrument, we can use it as music school. <laughs> so instead of sitting in a, a room while you are not being paid, better to produce money to be paid and try to make an argument on how to work. The youngest one? Or the, the, the young one that was sitting in the corner when we first came in and playing the guitar. So those who are playing guitar, one of them is a music teacher. He's working for this project the also. Man. The other one is the student. It's part of those who are learning music. So as I told you, we teach piano, guitar, and drum. So we have a group of young people who are learning music, but now they are at school. But is one of them who came just to show how he's learning and what the achievement is. What's, what's his name and how long has he been playing? And um, yeah, what's his name and how long has he been playing? I think the name is difficult for me, but, <laughs> but his teacher and he's still around, even you can ask him. Okay. But we have a group of, of 20 young people who are studying music. They started last year in October because it's where the big holiday, school holiday starts in October up to up to beginning of November. So they started in October in October and after December they were some somewhere they started good practice but now they are at school. The one who came is the one who is where the school is around this place, but other, they went far away in different institutions. And how long has he been playing? So it was for, for, for two months. For two months? Yeah, for only the holiday, school holiday. Yeah, but now he's good at playing guitar, acoustic guitar. And we think we have to expand this project because we are having also many requests for, for people saying, you don't have to stay only in Tigari. Even in EPR big assembly where or EPR member meet at stadium, they say why only best future is in Kigali. Even countryside want to benefit from best future. We have talented people, but it's far away. So we are thinking on how among the generated income here can produce something, we can polish a plant or something. That's why we are investing in different business activity to generate income from this so that we may start something new on the other side. But not new, but the a continuation. The continuation yes. in the other place. Well, let's and take we, some pictures. And we're really thankful for PC. You say that again? I know. Yeah. We are really thankful for PCUSA and PW Thanks offering. It was really like a dream. Before we met Nancy, we said it's meant to be a dream. How can we start with idea? Other project they say, you probably have to have some starting and then we'll continue. But with Nancy we say, we only have idea. But we know where we want to go, but we don't have, we are pocketless, empty. And he said, with PCUSA, I know they sponsor good idea. They know that with good idea, you can go even where you can't expect. And now I see that after three years, I see where we are going is where no, nobody can expect. Even church leaders can't expect this. Before they say for other projects, they start once the grant is finished, the group disappear, the project disappear, even staff disappear. But for this, we started as two staff, me and Marcelo. But now we have more than 10. And we think 2020, with all those projects, we should have even more than 1,000 projects if we have branch in different places of the country because we really want to attack the problem of jobless in our country. It's serious. For one position, you can have more than 500 applications. It's a situation where no one can understand. Even those who are school, when we are going there to train there for peace, for things, they say, how are you training us? We are studying to be jobless. So. What to do is to attack also the entrepreneurship and have to be more creative. Very good. Yeah. That was very good. Excellent. Thank that, you. That last one was a good soundbite. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was really good. Thank you, sir. Okay, so Great we did work. some Great work. Yeah. Would you like it right there? Where would you like it?
Yeah. 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 Yeah.